Volkswagen Beetle can be four different types of builds. Race build, drag build, drift build, and an off-road build. Now we've actually got one more diesel or band the car left, which is the Volkswagen Beetle, the Spring Edition. But what build is it going to be? We're going to try and actually decide within this video. Now, if you are actually brand new to the channel, I post all sorts of Need for Speed gameplays, including the abandoned car locations. So if you actually don't want to miss that, make sure you do like this video, subscribe, and also turn that bell notification on, because you don't want to miss a video like this or my future ones around Need for Speed and Need for Speed 2019. So, a couple of weeks back, I did actually do a video showing us all the abandoned car hints that we will be getting in the future, and obviously the Volkswagen Spring Edition Beetle did pop up, and that is actually getting released on April the 16th. And the hint that went with that was the location is the Desert Fork. Now that obviously tells us that it's somewhere in the desert, so it could be at the aerodrome or it could be at the power station. Now we actually don't know the 100% exact location, but I'm actually going to be showing locations where it possibly could be that I'm 99% sure that it will be when it gets released as an abandoned car. I just want to point out if you actually don't own the Volkswagen Beetle and you can't actually see it in the dealership, all you have actually got to do is collect all the derelict parts and then you get it unlocked now with the volkswagen beetle what it's good for is a drag build it is absolute blistering acceleration so it's definitely worth getting it if you don't have it already it is sad to say that the Need for Speed Payback abandoned cars are coming to an end. They actually do end in June. Yes, you heard that right. We've got roughly around two months left of abandoned cars. And after that, hopefully in between that actually, we should get a little teaser of Need for Speed 2019. And they should, should add abandoned cars into that. So, for some time I've actually been driving around the desert. And one area where I think it potentially could be is this area right here. Now, if you had to drive a bit down the road and turn right, you will see this barn right here now i know it is obvious and it is not far from the actual grid shop but i still think it could be here either around the back or inside location number two and now if you actually drive in the desert you've probably seen this little easter egg and you will see a ufo to me this could be a perfect opportunity for an abandoned car to actually be here simply because it's quite hidden and not many people actually do know about this ufo i personally think it would be a really great idea to actually put the abandoned car here anyways the location to where this is on the map isn't that far from a RAV which could stop it from being an abandoned car location but nevertheless it's still a good feature. At the start I did mention about the power station and this is where the location is. Now with the power station there are so many places where they can actually put the abandoned car. As you can see right now they could put it outside this glass window or a side of one of these garages. There are so many spots that they could actually put the abandoned car right here and to be honest when the first abandoned car series did actually start going on I actually thought they would put an abandoned car here at one point but they never did. So the location of where this is isn't that far from actually Rav's garage but there is some very good spawn locations where we can actually go. So we've got the tuna shop right here and if we go up the map we have also got this gas station right here. It wouldn't actually take that long to actually get it to the abandoned car location if it actually was there. Now if you drive a couple yards down the road from the power station you will see this little spot here which to me looks like a water tank but I actually thought that there would be an abandoned car here at one point as well as the power station but no it never actually happened and to be honest it would make a really good spot as well to be an abandoned car as you can see the gas station isn't that far from here it is same as last time and also the tuna shop is just down the road as well so we're talking about our last location now now we've actually had an abandoned car near this spot before but this definitely does make sense the reason why i think it does make sense is because it is quite a while away from rav's garage now we've actually had an abandoned car around this location before when the gas station isn't actually far from here where you can actually spawn to actually get to it this is a very plausible location right here near the wind turbines it's got everything that we're actually looking for for an abandoned car location so anyways ladies and gentlemen please let me know in the comment section below where you think the abandoned car will be once it gets released in need for speed paper don't forget it is somewhere located in the desert because to me these are pretty good locations of where the abandoned car could be now if you actually did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up i do appreciate all your support it helps out a lot and i really hope you did enjoy this video and i'll see you in my next one